a good shoe store will get you in the right shoe. And there's really three kinds of shoes. Um, you can have a neutral foot, semi-supportive, and then a, a motion control type shoe. So um, depending on the person's shape of their foot, you know, a good shoe store will get you kind of on the right product. Um, you can buy 200 pair of shoes and still have problems with shin splints or knee pain, okay? So I, I think with physical therapy and what we're trying to do with our running program here is maybe it's not an equipment issue, maybe it's a form issue or a movement pattern. And we're trying to pick up on some folks like maybe it's your movement pattern that's not really ideal and that's why you're continuing to get problems and I love it people come in and they got you know three bags of shoes and they got six hundred dollars worth of shoes and they you know the hundred fifty dollar orthotic and you know they're putting all their all their hope in the equipment and and vice versa you can have people that you know you'll be at a 5k race or something and they just got these ratty torn up shoes and you're like and they're gone, you know, and they're just really good, efficient sound runners. You know, if you're a hard heel striker, meaning you, as you're running, your heel hits the ground first, that shoe is made roughly, give or take, about 300 miles, okay? So you watch your mileage, you know, you don't want to get your shoe to break down too much. Um, from a physical therapy standpoint, we're trying to get people to be more of a midfoot striker, um, again, to fix the movement pattern, you know, and um, it was simple as just changing your footwear guys like me might not have a job with looking at running form and, and some of the coaching kind of principles that we've tried to help people through the years.